what's up guys it's cover code here and in today's video we're going to be resuming the zero to hero series this is episode 11 and it's going to cover how you can use the mathematical functions which roblox has so let's just open the script back up from last time and just delete everything now in this video i'm just going to be covering the most uh essential functions in my opinion which you will be using day to day as a roblox developer now the most important thing you actually need to know is this keyword right here math so that's just going to tell roblox or you know the script that you want to access something within the math class and you know the way you actually access uh functions within the math class is by using a dot and then you just write the function name so if i say for example that i want to access math.py for example okay um i'm just telling the script that i want to use something within the math class and that specific thing that i want to use is the pi function and obviously you know whenever you call a function you just use these two parentheses so pretty much um this we covered this in the episode about functions and the only new part here is this okay and this is actually the first uh, function which I wanted to you know discuss with you guys so this is math.py and this is just a constant okay so if you've ever done math and use circles or something chances are you probably encountered pi now just bring that up on the screen for those who have not actually used or ever heard of pi uh, now and it's just basically a number starting with 3.14 etc so whenever you use this it's the equivalent of this and a bunch of digits Okay, so let me just do that. Now, the second thing is math.huge, okay? Now, this is pretty similar to the pi function here. Instead, this is going to return infinity. So this will return 3.14 and a bunch of digits, and this will literally return infinity, okay? And that would be just a really, really large number for those of you who do not know. So if you just ever need to actually compare something with infinity or a really big number like this, you wouldn't just write this, okay? You just write that, okay? So let me just clear this up, and we're actually going to need to clear this up too, okay? So now I've just explained these two, um, okay? The third uh, function is math.abs, okay? We're not actually talking about abs. This just means the absolute value. So if you've ever done math and you've seen something like, uh, you know, like this or uh, something like, that this is absolute part okay so that's what that does let me just show you guys um but basically it ignores any signs like you know, negative numbers it'll just give you the actual number and ignore any signs so if i were to actually put math.abs minus 500 this will actually give me 500 okay if i were to actually put uh 200 this would give me 200 and so on so just it just gets the actual number it ignores any signs you know positive and negative it doesn't care it just gives you the number okay let me just delete this the fourth um function is math.floor okay so this essentially just rounds a a decimal number like this so if we have 3.1458 for example this will round it okay to the nearest lower number okay so in this case it would be three um, if I were to actually use the fifth uh, function, so math.seal, okay, this would actually give us four. Let me just give you guys one more example. Uh, so let's say we have 55.99, okay? If I were to actually use math.floor on this, this would give me 55, because that's the closest lower number, okay? And math.seal would actually give me uh, 56, because that's the closest um, higher number, okay? So this is how you would use it, like that. You just put the number inside of the parentheses and this would give you these, um, you know, these functions would give you these respective outputs. Now, one uh, more function which is pretty useful for uh, comparing is math.max, okay? So if you have a reason to check um, two or more numbers to see which one is bigger, this is what you'd use. So if I had math.max uh, and I want to just insert 55 and 2000 or 1000 like that, yeah, 
this would actually give you 2000 so it's just going to return the biggest number of the two so if i had math.max 44.5 and 55 this would give me 55 it's always going to return the biggest number and quite similarly is math.min instead uh this would actually give you the lowest number so if i were act to actually uh use min like this instead uh this would actually give me 55 and this would give me 44.5 so these are just inverse of each other okay now this is my personal favorite okay math.random now this will just give you a random number from the minimum integer that you actually gave it to the maximum integer okay so if i were to say math.random from 1 to 100 like this so this is the minimum integer as i said and this is the maximum integer aka number Okay, this would give me a random number, okay, between 1 and 100, okay? And obviously, you could just, you know, mess around with the numbers, but that's what that does. Now, the last two functions are only going to be used, honestly, if you're going to do some sort of uh, C-framing or some sort of complex math. And that's math.radians and math.degrees. Okay? And if you don't know what uh, radians are, they're just basically a different unit of measure for angles, pretty much. I'll just bring up something on the screen now to show you, like a comparison. Yeah. And honestly, you won't be using it that much. However, there are some functions, like uh, cframe.fromEulerAnglesXYZ, uh, which actually take uh, radians. So you'd, you'd actually know uh, if they take radians if they have an r in front of the x for like this for example okay but honestly you won't be doing this as a beginner per se however actually when you actually get more advanced then these will become pretty handy and similarly the degrees you know they're just normal degrees so the way this would work is inside of this function you would give it um angle in degrees okay so this could be 90 degrees okay and you just give it 90 degrees and this will give you the equivalent radians and this would be like 1.57 something uh don't take my word for that but it's something like that and this is pretty much the same thing except this would take the the radian value okay and it would output the degree value like this now, I'm just going to include a page in the description below, which will actually take you to the official Roblox wiki. And it's just basically a page about the math class, how you can actually use it, and all of the different types of uh, functions which we have not covered, okay? Because there's such a huge list, and they can get so complex. Actually, they're not that complex, but pretty much uh, I just decided to cover the, the essentials and then if you guys want to, as a bonus, you can learn about the other things like uh, math.tangent, for example, math.cosine, stuff like that. Purely mathematical, honestly. But if you're curious to know, then link in the description below, guys. That's pretty much all I have, guys, on mathematical functions and the math class. Um, like, subscribe, leave comments in the comment section down below suggesting what videos I should make next. And I'll see you guys next time.